We are at the uh, Komatsu uh, Proving Ground in, in Saurida, Arizona. We are a part of Project POEM. It's a STEM education for visually impaired students. We all know that people do not become scientists because they are sighted. They become scientists, engineers, mathematicians because they love the area and the um, expertise that they develop out of those interests. We came here, we watched the safety video and we went out to a truck shop and a walk around a, a big haul truck. It never occurred to me that there could be trucks that big. I couldn't even reach the top of a wheel with the tip of my cane on tiptoes. More often than not, uh, students who are blind or visually impaired tend to be discouraged to think about becoming a scientist, engineer. If we could provide a reason for them to love science and be motivated by one of the areas, I think there's a great potential that you know, any of our students with visual impairments can become a scientist. So that's the goal of this uh, project. You get to explore, and that is what I need because I do not know what I want to be. So I'm trying everything. We had an opportunity to hear briefly about the types of activities that Komatsu is being involved. And uh, we also went to the sites where we had an opportunity to observe the truck as well as ride on it. That was definitely not something you do every day. You know, often visual impairments can be considered as an obstacle, but science, math, engineering, technology, any of those keywords can be an option for their career in the future. The minor challenges like visual impairments should not be a reason to dictate what to or what not to do.